What's up team? You're here for 8 helpful intermediate tips that I wish I knew when I started playing Valheim. These tips should save you a lot of pain and trouble figuring them out on your own. Just make sure to comment below if you found this helpful. YouTube won't share my content unless I get way too many likes, subs, comments, and shares. Enemies like to attack light sources and workbenches if the player hasn't aggroed them yet. Torches are a great way for producing light, but they use up resin as fuel, so be sure to resupply them when you have extra on hand. Some of the later upgrades, like the sconce, hold more resin and burn through it much slower than the regular standing torches. These stone circle things might have treasure, which you can find by using a pickaxe and digging away. However, there's no guarantee that the treasure is even there. It's better if you get a wishbone after a later boss fight, which notifies you when something is hidden underground. Dropped items remain on the ground for a long, long time, and seem to remain forever if there's a workbench around. I tried desperately to get rid of some extra trophies, but each time I returned to base, they were just sitting there on the floor. Why won't you just disappear like normal? There are two ways to deal with this. You can take the unwanted material out with you on your next adventure and toss them in some remote corner. Or even better, toss them out from your boat and they'll fall to the ocean floor, never to be seen again. In the open waters you might run into leviathans who have these chitin resources that you can mine with your pickaxe, but they submerge if you keep pecking at them. With enough chitins you can make an abyssal harpoon which lets you tether some enemies to you and this is important for dragging certain beasts like the serpent to the shore so that their heavier scales don't drop out of reach when you kill them. The harpoon can snap if the serpent pulls too hard though, so try to keep it close to you and don't overdo it with the throttle as you race to shore. And pay attention to your boat's visible damage. If it's destroyed on the open waters, heavier materials like nails, deer skins, and metal cargo will sink and be unrecoverable. Also, if you die out there, your tombstone will float with everything you had on you. Once you start smelting ores, try this little tip. Fill the smelter or the blast furnace with ore and coal before you go to bed. They will continue to work while you sleep, speeding up the process. Haldor is a merchant hidden somewhere in your world. He has a few pre ordained locations where he can appear and will permanently stay at the first one you find. His marker appears way before you get a visual on him, meaning you might unlock him simply by sailing close enough from the shore. Make sure you build a portal to have easy access to him in the future. He buys things like all the rubies, amber, pearls, and silver necklaces you've been hoarding. And be sure to buy everything he sells, since some unlock new and important things. I would start off with the Menging Yord, which sits in your inventory and increases your carrying capacity when equipped. If you are having trouble finding Haldor, then you can try using using the Valheim Merchant Finder, which I've linked in my comments. Don't forget that most weapons have an alternate middle click attack, and some of these are game changers, like the spear can be thrown and the at gear has a devastating AoE swing with a decent knockback effect. Lastly, maybe you're tired of grinding and have things to do and places to be, well then you should turn to cheats. Currently you can enable cheats in this way. First, click on the Valheim properties in Steam. Under launch options, you should see a blank field. Type dash console in there and close the window. Now open your game and press the F 5 button to open up the console that you just enabled. Type in dev commands, all one word, to turn cheats on, and type it again to turn it off. Each time you log in, it will be turned off by default. I'll link a guide which has all the commands and cheats you'll have access to in the comments below, but remember that all the commands are case sensitive. You can also type slash help for a brief list of key commands as well. Good luck out there Vikings, please make sure to like, sub, comment, and share my content to help my channel grow. And here are some emote commands you can try typing into the chat box.